Well, woolly backwards again, and I just want to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of therapy, which is a little bit of how would you call it? What what I do sometimes when I need to unwind a bit, I just want to relax, get into a repetitive movement, uh, and this is basically what I do. Dun, dun, dun. Cut logs. Cut logs. It's fun. Well, yeah, it's fun. It's enjoyable. It's exercise. It's it's everything. Uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit of mindfulness as well because you're completely thinking. You're in the moment. You're thinking about what you're doing. You know, you're just whacking away and splitting the logs. So uh, I've been splitting mostly... Oh, I've been splitting today. A lot of sycamore. Sycamore and a little bit of maple. Okay. Stick with me, guys. So this is the latest experiment with the wood pile. I'm just uh, just just laying this along here along the fence to see if it dries any faster than the stuff I have up over here at the side of the house. Now what happens is is that I get bored and I start chopping logs because they need to be chopped at some stage, don't they? So what I have here is I'm just gonna I'm gonna split these. I'm just gonna stack all these here and see if they dry dry any faster. It's all an experiment. Now a crotch piece, they're hard to split. See? Would help if I could actually hit the same place twice.
Sycamore. It's quite easy to split. I actually find it harder to split when it's dry. When it's seasoned. You can go quite hard. I don't want to go at all. Good chance at it again there. As I said, crotch ones can be tough. But you just, everything will split. You just have to find the right way it's going to split. A lot of the times the hardwood is easier to split than the softwood. Some of the pines or spruces that you get are just So I find that you don't always have to swing a big ball buster at it. You know, the likes of let me see now, the likes of the small ones like these. Sometimes it's easier just to let the weight of the axe do it. You know, instead of swinging like this, you swing like this. So you widen your grip a bit, and you're just. So then you're, you're going for accuracy instead of power. But sometimes you gotta make a dog of it. I like to just park the wheelbar right off here beside the, beside my my tire because a lot of them split, and with a little, if you just release your grip at the end, you can you can flick it out a bit. So you're just sort of it's hard to describe. Just on impact, you just sort of release your grip slightly. The head of the axe flicks out a bit, just flicks out like that. Splits the wood. Another nice crotch one here. Let's see if we can split it straight down the middle. Yes, 
might be a don't do. Ooh, ah! Nope, we're turning them. Nice big crack on it here. See if I can get into that crack there. <laughs> That's for you, Jenna. Better noise out of it. That's it, lads. Splitting some wood, heat myself twice. I'm going to stack it. I'm not going to cover it because I have enough covered here. And uh, some of this stuff has just gone in today as well at the very top. And uh, we'll we'll check it. We'll check it when when I'm coming to when I go to burn this stuff. When I finally get round to this one, I'll check the other ones and we'll we'll see which is the driest, if I remember. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.